our next topic is gifted payments. What is gifted payment? Gifted payments are donations. Donations, givings, charity, a taxpayer who will going to pay charity, it's known as gifted. We already know in our earlier studies, when we learned how to calculate ANI, we know how to calculate gifted payments. Remember? Yes. yes. Okay. Gifted payment by default is net amount. So we need gross amount. So we learned that this formula earlier that net into 100 divided by 80 in order to get the gross amount. By default, it's a net amount and we need gross amount when we are calculating tax but if question states it's a gross amount it happens in our previous questions so we will use the same amount okay now one treatment of gifted is it's deducted from ani calculation while we are, are calculating when we are calculating ani we are deducting gross gifted and gross personal pension from total net income and the answer is ani that's what we did many times this is the first impact of gifted the second impact of gifted is it increases the basic band limit our basic band limit is how much 37700 and because of gross gift aid, the amount of gift aid is going to extend basic band limit. And we do have new limit for basic band. Basic band has a tax of 20%, right? If you give gift aid, your limit will extend, means your higher band will defer your higher band will delay, which is 40% tax. So gift aid is giving us tax relief in form of they are shifting income from higher band to lower band by increasing basic band limit. Before, whatever the amount in excess of 37,700 goes to higher band and taxed at the rate of 40%. But because of now, gross gift aid, the band limit will increase. And because of this increase, the additional amount, whichever it will be given as a gross gift aid, the percentage of tax will not be 40. It will remain in basic band and the percentage will be 20%. Got my point? Hello? Yes. You got my point? Yeah. You I guess when we do the questions, the yeah, yeah, questions we, will do. we will do. That's for the theory. Now, a lot of questions are there. So the first question, Brenda, I need you to read it, please. Brenda has employment income of 55,000 pounds each year and makes a payment of 3,600 pounds to the RSB under the gift aid scheme. Calculate Brenda's income tax liability for the year, tax year 2021 to 2022. Now, how to do that? We are going to learn now, okay? First thing is, she has an income, employment income. Employment income is part of known savings. Total column will be there. Employment income, how much? 55,000. There is no other income means this is the net income. Personal allowance, it's less than 100,000, so no need to reduce personal allowance. 12,570 will be my personal allowance, giving me an answer which will be my taxable income of how much? 42430. Okay. 42430. Now, calculation of tax. Non savings. Heading is non saving. Now, remember that 
before starting now working for tax you have to check your basic band limit by default limit is how much Uh, this limit can be extended by gross gifted and gross gifted okay so because we are just learning gross gifted so gross gifted will going to increase this limit how much gifted we do have 3600 they wrote it it's gross or net they write anything no it's silent only 3600 is given so by default we knows by default it's always net amount and in tax we have to use gross amount in the formula to convert net amount into gross in the case of gifted is multiply 100 divided by 80 we will get the gross of amount which will be how much 2500 the treatment of gifted is the first statement is they are part of a and i when we are reducing personal allowance when our t and i this one this amount is greater than 100000 here is no case for a and i but the second treatment of gifted is it going to increase the limit of basic band so extended basic band limit will be how much Forty-two thousand two hundred. Now let's see very carefully. Her income is forty-two thousand four thirty. What do you say? It's basic band taxpayer or higher band taxpayer? Why higher band taxpayer? Because still he's above. Yes. Brenda is above forty-two four hundred. Now see very carefully. Before. learning the impact of gross gift aid we used to write directly 37700 here but in this question the basic band limit will be how much 42200 and the 20% tax will be applied on that and the balance the difference balancing figure which is 42430 minus 42200 will go to higher band and tax at the rate of 40% and we do have income tax liability look at it what questions you have yes but why would we uh, apply 42 42200 to base like when it's above 37000 this is the rule that any time when you have gross gifted your basic band limit will not be same as 37700 you have to calculate new limit and the new limit will be calculated by adding gross in your base limit which is 37700 yani if we have gross gifted in any question the basic band limit need to be changed it will increase okay okay so the answers can you tell me using calculator please Eight thousand four hundred forty for the basic one. Eight thousand four hundred and forty for basic. How much left for higher? How much income? Two thirty. Two thirty. And ninety-two. And the income tax liability. Eight thousand five hundred thirty-four. Okay, you want to copy it? Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Please ask me. Huh? Okay. In Paul and Grace, the net income for both are fifty-four, three forty-five. First of all, we will solve it for Mr. Paul. Okay. Grace make the charity. So Paul don't have any charity. Personal allowance will be twelve five seventy because he is not earning more than a hundred thousand. So personal loss will not be reduced. Taxable income will be forty-one thousand seven seventy-five. Any questions? Yeah. Is basic taxpayer or higher? Yeah. 
Do he have any gifted? Do he contribute in this fund in uh, gifted mm -hmm. scheme or no? In grace. Grace, but all no. So he is simply higher band taxpayer and we will not do any working for gift aid. It's known savings. Basic band is 37,700 at the rate of 20%. The answer we remember memorized is how much? Zero. And how much will fall in higher band? Four zero seven five. Two forty percent. One six three zero. Income tax liability B. Any questions? Any problems? No. Now Grace, same thing, but only a difference is grace contributed in draw a uh, gifted scheme so what will be the difference we will see taxable income will remain same now if there is any gifted we have to do additional working what is our basic band normal limit 37700 gross Gift aid. How much? They wrote it gross or silent? Silent. Means we have to gross it up. And we do have basic band new limit, which will be 40,200. And now we will solve it. Just look at it. His income is how much now? 41,000. His basic band limit is how much? 40,200. So still he is higher band tax pair. How to calculate tax? Basic band. Tell me, 37,700 I will write or I will write something else? What should I write? 40,200. Very good. 40,200 at the rate of 20%. And the difference will be 40 percent difference is 1630 the answers 8040 and 630 giving me final answer of 8670 you can see same income but because of gift aid same income but because of gift aid the tax liability reduced you can see all earn same. Grace is earning same amount, but because of a relief available, uh, if you spend money in charity, if you donate to charity under the gift aid scheme, this is a relief. Your uh, basic band limit is going to increase. Because of that thing, your tax liability, Grace tax liability is much below than Mr. Paul's liability. So that's the implication or effect of gifted scheme. Any questions? No questions. Uh, question number 20. It's your assignment, it's your homework. You should do it and send it to me after the class, okay? Okay. You want to copy it? Yes, 